Woo! Okay, I've really been slacking or whatever. I'm just, I've been chilling. Okay, it's okay to chill sometimes. But let me be honest on that. So, um, I'm meaning to show y'all this flowering field of strawberries in my food forest. Okay, so these strawberries were planted, like all of these were planted, was it last year, the year before that? Oh, yeah, I want to say the year before that. Okay, so, um, they have sent off runners let me remember to move slowly because i'm annoying right they've sent off runners i tried to control them uh sort of without pulling them out because i was lazy look once it, get, once it starts getting summertime out here in tennessee i do not be trying to be out here in the broad daylight except the harvest so i just kind of let them do what they do and now i have this thick well over there is thick strawberry patch so, uh, what do you want to know about strawberries? I am going to say that growing strawberries is has been one of the easiest things to grow in this food forest. Even though the clay, like the clay is like whoosh, dry, it's crap in the um, summer, right? It's like, like when the clay dries out, it just goes like hard. The strawberries, they were still out here looking perky now they look even better now they've settled in for a little bit and they spread across this pathway so on this pathway they've been stomped on in the center but the ones that made it over there are getting established so i have successfully spread those strawberry plants without me having to plant additional ones right so they getting established over here on this side at this point, I'm really just going to let them run wherever they please. They do an excellent job of covering the ground. And I like strawberries, I mean, to eat. So, I'm going to just let them rock for now. Forever, because who is trying to pull all these out? So, they're flowering. Apparently, all sorts of creatures like them. Oof. I'm going to just walk you out through here. That is, um alfalfa i believe i threw some seeds literally through broadcast some seeds out here for that for clover which is up here i uh, sometimes chop and drop it but at the same time i'm halfway trying to exercise some self-control so it can flower and i can have more seeds but the self-control is not there all the time okay so and more flowers this patch has these pets the patch has developed so well i was um I actually put down a thick layer of mulch on the fruit forest in general but it's not as thick in the strawberry patch or field whatever you want to call it just because i didn't want to choke out the strawberries to death <laughs> so i've just been shredding paper and cardboard and stuff to go in between here it is like it's a slow build mulch if you will so i can keep the strawberry plants from getting choked out as i add more walking you through so we got some more flowers flowers i did just like dump a whole bunch well not even that much like just like a cart full of mulch in this area that's why you don't really see the strawberries but i will say they are resilient Okay, this is comfrey. It popped back up through this mulch. All right. It's looking great. And these strawberry, the strawberry plants starting to pop back up through this mulch. It's been on here a couple weeks now. It tends, I feel like um, the more it rains, the faster they pop back up. Right, because it kind of like shifts things around. You know, like the strawberry plants pushing up, the mulch getting washed down by the rain. So, like those counter motions since it really help okay so this patch is it wasn't at this close to this tree at first it spread itself over here and I'm just letting it rock because by the time this tree is you know throwing a lot of shade this is a fugi persimmon so by the time this gets all its leaves and has leafed out really the strawberry should be done for the year so like at that point they're just chilling looking luscious or whatever oh my goodness i really hope i get some fruit off of you today or today <laughs> this year you oof. so 
the food the persimmon trees leaf out a bit later than other trees like like my apple was already flowering and these are just now getting leaves i think this way a little bit sooner than the others just because it's been here longest this is probably the only tree that's been in here since year one this is third a third year food forest and it's terrible threes i don't care about no terrible twos we can say trifling threes okay so we're gonna see how this year goes but this is the first year that i've had just like a ton of mulch to add Whew. and i just really did not expect to like this strawberry field this much i mean not that i was like oh i'm gonna hate the strawberry field but i was just it just it looks so nice and soft and it's keeping the ground covered not the mulch wasn't doing that but i would definitely recommend having that double layer if possible um, especially because I did add some, what did I add? <clears throat> right, some red wrigglers and European night crawlers, right? So, last year in the summer when it started getting all hot and stuff, the clay is all hard, they can't be really down there. They started moving really just up onto the surface. And if you have this nice ground cover here, I had this and then I had the sweet potato fine just all over the area and the worms just come up to the surface and hang out right underneath your uh living mulch your ground cover layer so um that gives them some additional protection so they don't dry out in the summer and they can stay busy and stay hidden from these little trifling birds that be trying to kill them to death so okay strawberries over there um, what am I companion planting with these? Ooh. There is a giant, I mean a giant, Lord help. This is my lion's head Japanese maple. So some strawberries right there. And I read, saw, experienced somewhere that asparagus is a great companion plant for strawberries. So we're putting that to the test over here. I got asparagus in different places. Oop, this thing is taking forever to grow back. Makes me wonder if I should have harvested it or not. So, those are just weeds. So, we got it that. We got some strawberries growing around this comfrey. And they seem to be cooperating, cohabitating, thriving together just fine. That's a little support radish. Okay. This is another little patch that's oh these strawberries were in here since year one my mom planted those so they've been in here since before my arrival this is a it's about to, it's about to rain y'all it's gonna be out here okay this is a bonfire patio of peach which i've showed y'all this um it's actually fruiting so i showed it to you flowering uh, I'll just have a video to just show you the little tiny peaches. I'm hoping they stay on this year. So, some weeds growing in between, but more strawberries. And then the comfrey is popping up. I thought I didn't make it with all this additional mulch because it is pretty thick over here. And I put it on here thick because I wanted to make sure that this tree had a consistent, had consistent moisture so it would hopefully keep the peaches this year so no way to know but the strawberry plants do help keep the ground a little bit, a little bit more moist too you know because living mulch keeps the ground more shaded you know um so i don't know i guess it's every really i'm not everything but everything i just had on my mind to say about the strawberries but like i said it works great it's like your first year you know it's like oh i'm gonna start a food forest i don't know where to start strawberries put those things in the ground they basically grow themselves just keep them moist a little bit so they can get established or if your soil is already good and moist you know you just plunk them in there and like the spring on this the rainy season like say on a, on a day that you know it's gonna rain then really they just take over from there so there are some strawberry plants that apparently don't run. 
at home so you could do a bit of research to find those if you're not wanting strawberries all over everywhere but like i said i'm gonna let them rock um and just plant in to and around them as i uh do more uh, well i don't know so i'll update you again after i do because i am planning on doing some more planting in between the strawberries which i would love for you to see once those plants get established and you can actually tell what they are so until then tap that like button share and subscribe to keep up with everything and i'll be back on home is the jungle